Hey there, Aaron Wills again, bringing you another reaction video. I started this on Wednesday, the 14th day of August in 2024 at 8.50 p.m. Along with welcoming you to my channel, allow me to thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe before sharing this video and turning on the post notification bell. I sit on YouTube.com looking for something to to watch. Let's see, we have law enforcement like we've been doing. And uh, we got Gordon Ramsay, who I also like to watch. Let's see what, uh, let's do a little, little law, law enforcement. I have no particular knowledge of law enforcement or of the Constitution. I like to watch it, so I figure I'll cover it. Look, an idiot cops video. When the idiot cops finally get caught. Check this out. State Farm was charging me $179 for all the No, thank you. I have this friend who told me about the site. Now spending 58 Police officers often make no mistakes you never expect from them. Today we'll be going through these cases where these idiot cops were caught in the act. Just like this sergeant who was caught on camera and was humbled by his department. The fat guy in the shooting vest with him. Another shocking thing about this arrest was that every officer had their body cams turned off moments before making the arrest. The reason will be discussed later in this video, leaving you stunned. This footage was from Officer Tomorrow's body cam, who was the only cop with his body cam on. As you can see, one of the officers confiscated the guitar's phone and handed it over to Captain Zuyuba. This phone is significant in the case as it recorded the captain's interaction with them. Moments later, the captain appeared to come over and say something to Officer Tamara. And just then, he also turned off his body cam. Both John and Joe were taken to the police station, where they were charged with disorderly conduct and released six hours later. Later, they appeared in court to fight their charge. And even the judge sided with the musician. Do you play the guitar on Mayfield? They said you can't do that? Just like that, the judge dismissed the charge against them. However, a big piece was still missing in the case. The brothers had never gotten their phone back, and when they asked about it, the cops said that no phone was retrieved during the arrest. As the body cam footage clearly showed, Captain Zuba did get hold of it. Shortly after, an investigation was launched into this case, and detectives went to the guitarist's residence to inquire about what had happened earlier. Just, uh, sign it. There had to have been something more than that than him just playing the guitar outside of his work establishment. Uh, 
and then you get arrested. That sounds fishy. But who knows? <sighs> All we saw is what we saw. That's all we can go by. And it rang one percent. You believe it's that's uh? And who do you think that is? Yeah, okay. This is clearly Bush. Okay, one percent. Are you sure? One hundred percent. Okay. From here, um, we gather any facts we can. We're gonna go to Little Italy to see if there's any surveillance footage there. Okay. Uh, stuff like that, and uh, we present the facts to a prosecutor. And the prosecutor will determine if the officers committed a crime. This here is one the bike I had that they they returned that and the guitar is no problem. Yes, yeah, so I was gonna say, aside from your cell phone, they gave you everything else back. Just your cell phone was not in in your bag or nothing like that. Yeah, I mean I hate to be accusatory, but it did it was kinda of wrong what happened, man. I think they might have destroyed the cell phone because of the evidence of him assaulting me on it. The detectives soon realized that there was much more to this case, so they immediately contacted the officers present on the scene and interrogated them, starting with Officer Tomorrow. Okay, in August 15th, 2019, um, were you employed by the city of Cleveland while working the case to the assumption? Yes. Okay. And what was your role there? That's almost exactly five years ago. Okay. Um, did you have an encounter with two males named Joseph and Jonathan Workman? Yeah, two guys with the guitars. Did you witness Captain Dezuba? Or let me start this. Did you witness either of the two guys trying to record Captain Dezuba on their cell phone? I don't know if they were trying to record their cell phone. Okay. Did you see uh, Captain Dezuba try to take the cell phone out of one of the guys' hands? Okay, you didn't witness Captain Zuba ever. Because the complaint is that Captain Zuba grabbed the guy's hand when he was trying to film him and twisted his arm. You didn't witness anything like that? Okay. Did you witness Captain Zuba use any sort of reportable force on either of these two guys? Tomorrow refuted everything that was asked against the captain. It was obvious that he had prepared for this line of questioning and was not going against his sergeant. Did you hear Captain Izuba ever give an order for people not to have their cameras on while this incident was going on? Okay, what about for the feast in general? Did you? The joys of America's open road. It's right here on the main streets and two lane back roads. Ever naked? We don't get our cameras on and you're saying like that? Okay. Um, do you know if the officers that were working overtime details were given the option to drive their personal cars to the police? Okay. Tamara also claimed that the captain never asked any of the officers to turn off their body cams, but he had no clue that this lie would be exposed pretty soon. Officer Carey, prior to beginning the interview, you had a chance to review the order to submit to an administrative interview form. Did you understand the form? Any questions about the form? Okay. Did you witness um, Captain Azuba use any force on either of the males? Did you witness Captain Azuba take either of their cell phones away? They, they um, arrested him. Yeah, I, I saw the, the arresting part that there was no force. I don't know. Okay. They were just handcuffed? Yes. Do you know why they were arrested? Uh, or did you know why at the time? Why they were being arrested? Okay. Did you witness that or did you just... No, that... We came upon that, like, probably in the middle of the... Uh, Okay. Officer Carey was one of the officers who didn't turn his body cam on throughout the incident, and when questioned about it, he didn't hesitate to throw his captain under the bus. I'm just going to ask you this because I asked everybody else. Uh, this is a picture of the 3rd District Property book. Um, I highlighted the line there. Is that your handwriting? Did you write that in the, the book? I didn't handle any of it. Okay. No, that's not my handwriting. Okay. When you uh, put something in the property book, um, do you... Um, Make a tag in learns for it, and entry and learns and print out a tag. Okay. Um, was your WCS on your person during this incident? I did have one. Okay, and how come you didn't activate it? I was told not to. By who? Uh, the captain. Okay, and when did he tell you that? Okay, so when you got dropped off to... This is pretty fucking boring, isn't it?
we're gonna, we're gonna interrogate this guy by the cell phone for the next two hours, and then, and then what? Oh, then what? All right, all right. Let's play it. See where it goes. Who worked the feast? He said. You need to turn your cameras on. Okay. All right. And that did you interpret that as no matter what happened, you shouldn't turn your camera on? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was you, in fact. And you should apologize and excuse yourself. Before we conclude, the detectives, the detectives had, had enough proof against, against, the, corrupt against the corrupt tactic, tactic but things, things were about to worsen for the tyrant. So you didn't witness any interaction with Tyler. these guys yeah. and Captain Zuba? No, when we initially were walking down the hill, they called for the captain and somebody else saying these kids didn't want to talk to them. And we were walking up the hill and we heard them call the radio, hey, any more officers over here. And that's when we came up. And by the time we came up, uh, they were coughed and there was like bikes and that's we just moved on away because people kept tripping over them. Okay. Now did you walk to the prisoner van with the... Yes, we were, I was actually, I think I was one of the front officers kind of clearing the path because I mean, you know, it gets to his room and so yeah. we're trying to make sure no one got away. Okay, did you witness any officers with either of these guys' cell phones? No, I know. The only time I saw their cell phone was when they were first initially playing and the kid was, I think he was recording when the first officer was talking, that was the only time I ever saw Okay, so the initial, when the initial officers were talking to them, he was recording from what you were talking about. Okay. okay. Um, did you witness what happened to any of the guys' property? Their guitars, their bikes, anything like that? No, the only thing I saw, I think one of the, one of the officers had their bikes and he rolled and walked it down because he was next to me. And then he set it against the van because they're like, where do you want your bikes? And they said, just put them against the van. And so that's what he set it against the van. And once they got to the van, we just walked away because I think like, everybody was there for the most part. Like the previous cop, Officer Dornert claimed he was not involved in the arrest. It's abysmal how none of the officers were ready to take responsibility for this arrest. However, Dornert also claimed that the captain instructed them to turn off their body cam. Did you have your WCS on you at the time? Did I have it on me or turn it on? On you? On me, yes, I did. Did you turn it on? No, I didn't. And why is that? Uh, we were told initially from the captain not to turn them on, and then I was thinking we were off duty, so we didn't think we had to have them on. Okay, and what made you think you were off duty? Uh, I mean, we were just told it was kind of a second, not a second or one, but we weren't actually working. I, like, not working for the district, but we were working kind of. We all felt like we were kind of hard, so. It was a detail, I guess you could say. But Captain Zuba, was it while the system was going out, these guys? No, I believe when we first got the bus, we all kind of like congregated and we were talking about who's working where. Nothing. Don't, don't even make sure the cameras on, because it's like he said a detail. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Anything else? okay. Okay, do you remember anything else about this incident that I didn't ask about? No. Okay. Um, let me, I'm just going to ask you, because I asked everyone else, this uh, highlighted line there, is that your handwriting? No. Okay, do you know whose handwriting that is? No. Okay. If you, if you would have put this in the book, would you have put an entry and learns and printed out the tag for the property? Yes. Okay. All right. In a fire situation, you know, one minute, the fire can spread throughout the rest of the building, whereas if we got there, 90 seconds. The officers were clearly turning against Captain Dezuba in order to save themselves. Next up was Officer Musina, who was much more involved in the arrest, and even he blamed the captain. They were playing the guitars and had a confrontation with Captain Dezuba. Do you remember witnessing any of that? Um, this piece is that much. Okay. Did you witness something different. when the officers initially approached the guys when they were playing on the... Okay. Um, did you witness any other interaction with Captain Dezuma? No. Okay. Did you see any... Did you see these two guys trying to record Captain Dezuma with their cell phone? See, they got something... Uh, of course, it's just a nightmare. I saw them recording the officers as they were walking away from us. We were at the top of the Okay. Maybe we'll watch the Sean of Steel. See if I can react to a Sean of Steel reaction. That'd be kind of neat. Huh. Let's see what we got here. To be honest, I, I did have a few cheat days. Well, of course you mean it, to be honest, you can't lie to me. When the scale news my lie detector, it already told me it had a lot of cheat days. The question is why, when it's gonna kill you? 
I don't, I don't know. What's the point of coming here and telling me you want to change your life? Hey, what's up, guys? Sean back. More.